Hey guys, what's up? Shekhar Suman here from Biotechnica and today we are asking a critical question. PhD with na samay kyo lagta hai? Why do we need to spend 5 years, 7 years into PhD? Well, truth be told, somebody asked this question to us in the comment section. Why PhD is 5 years? Why 7 years? Why so many years? Why can't it be just 2 years or 1 year? Well, to answer that question and further explore into this topic, today we are going to dive into this topic. And if you want us to talk about this in detail, then all you have to do is stay tuned. Let's get started. Welcome back. So now why PhD five years or more? Like, isn't this a punishment? Why can't it be less or why it is uh, like five years of, uh, you know, uncharted territory where there's no curriculum and you are on your own. So let us talk about that. I have got eight pointers with, with for you and more, you know, actionable insights for all of you. The first one is you have to get into the history of PhD first to know about this degree. So you see government as well as industry in the past wanted more skilled manpower which is into exploration and discovery because truth be told whether humans are flying today or there is internet if you are able to watch me or you know any discovery drugs molecules whatever it all happened because somebody chose to explore somebody chose to discover so government thought how can we you know increase this and that is where they created a degree called PhD or doctorate and they said okay you know this is a explorative degree it's not a curriculum based degree and that is where research is a exploration research is all about discovery research is all about you getting into uncharted territory where nobody has ever gone okay and government will fund you so that's what is PhD now coming to the third point you have to think about this if you want to make a chapati you know the protocol but if you are making a round chapati for the first time you'll have to really take time like explore a lot of times to make it completely perfectly round the same way with whether whether it is edison or dyson all of them had to do a lot of iteration they had to go through a lot of failed experiments to achieve success so government as well as industry knows this that is why this particular degree was created wherein you're given five years or seven years to explore okay explore what you can do from this particular topic so the phd person is given this opportunity to choose their topic choose a guide and then explore for the five years while they are funded so that they can find something worthwhile now the fourth point exploration leads to discovery not always yes exploration not always leads to discovery and that is why some people end up taking more time than the others in their phd but there is a good as well as a bad point the bad point is you know if you make it time bound like five years you have to finish you really cannot have the real discoveries but if you if they don't make it time bound the government will cannot fund you forever right so that's where there is a time limit now fifth one limiting it in time actually fails it in purpose now why does it fails it in purpose is because discovery takes time you can't make around chapati in a day it takes time right so you can't have a perfect experiment and result in a day or two or five years it can take time also in india phd researchers face a lot of logistical issues for example the chemical is not available the instrument is not available or you have to go to some other lab to do your job so this kind of things happen sixth point regular regulatory bodies cannot fund us indefinitely and that is why they have limited it to five years that's the max okay but why it is not less because it's an explorative degree it is not a mandated curriculum based degree okay. having said that it has started fail you know failing the purpose of phd for example recently you saw that okay the paper research paper has to be published right and they made it mandatory like three four years ago they made it mandatory and today they're saying okay let's remove this mandation now what happens the, why they had to do it because it started failing the purpose of phd so what you have to know this they also are doing a lot of experiment with your curriculum saying that you know pay publishing paper is mandatory and later on changing the policy altogether 
Now coming to the next point, that is where they converted into a postdoc. Okay, five years you did your PhD, the degree is granted. If you want to st still further do your research, you can get into postdoc. Okay, so this is more or less is what is the reason why PhD is five years or more. Why PhD is not less than five years because it's an explorative degree, and why it is not more than five years is because. Government cannot fund you indefinitely. They say, okay, finish your PhD in five years and then you can go for a postdoc. You can continue your, you know, research. But yeah, five years, finish your PhD. That's a mandate. But now the question, uh, the question to be asked is, what is a target oriented PhD? Now, this is something which is very, very important. Uh, I think seven years ago, I was interviewing somebody, not seven, I think 10 years ago, I was interviewing a PhD student who, was, who just finished his PhD and he came to Biotechnica uh, for a job and I was interviewing and he had finished his PhD in three years. I was like, wow, how did you do that? And he, has, he had published 20 uh, papers okay, from a university, private university in India. And he said, sir, my university gives me targets like you have to publish seven papers every year kind of stuff. And they have a target that within uh, like three years, they want to, you have 100 PhDs from the university because the NAC team will give them a rating based on that. So, you know, this kind of targets and that is actually bad. PhD should be given their time. Okay, so that's that is bad. But yeah, here, here is something which definitely will help you if you are a PhD student. You should have a target okay and you, the target should be planned ahead in in a way okay now if the target is too much like you want to finish in three years that's something which you should not try but definitely if you plan ahead if you plan well then definitely you can finish in four four and a half years i know people who have done that in a very nice way now where people go wrong is the sample collection the data collection the data uh, you know analysis and you know, non-availability of reagents, chemicals, instrument, that's something which you have to figure out how do you, you know, manage. But if that can be managed, you, your target oriented PhD can be finished in four, four and a half years to the max. Now, how it can kill the purposes is if, if it is too much of target, like your guide says now you have to finish in this much time. And, you know, there's no uh, availability of the reagents and chemicals. So yeah, that's where. So the main aim of PhD actually it is it's a degree of exploration and discovery. So if the degree has to lead to exploration and discovery, then we need to give time to you. And that is the reason this is a long term degree, but you should have a target oriented PhD, not heavy target, but yeah, definitely you should have a target that it is Now I have some more suggestions for all of you. If you're planning to do a PhD, the, that one is commercialize your topic. So, you know, when you do a PhD on something like, uh, you know, which cannot be commercialized in industry, it's of no use. But if you have a topic which you think in future or currently also can be commercialized, then the industry will absorb you. So that is where PhDs become employable. Okay. Otherwise, you'll become non-employable. You'll just be good as a teacher. Okay. But that's not what you want. You want to become a, get into industry. So you should do a PhD in a topic which is commercializable or has already been commercialized next is applied science topics so say crispr ngs these kind of topics which is applied agri biotechnology these are going to solve the problems of the future so this is something which you have to look at okay the next one is time bound phd so if you have a time bound planning that, okay, this is what I want to do this much time I'll take for my thesis writing and you're in touch with your seniors who will guide you. Okay. Not just a, uh, the guide, but your seniors also superiors also. So you take the advice of everybody, jot down things and think creatively. How can you make it faster? That's how you can achieve your degree in the shortest possible time. But yeah, the truth is PhD generally takes five years, more or less 10%, 20% more or less okay so that's i hope that answers your question and these were my suggestions uh, if you still have any question put them down in the comment section and i would love to answer them thank you so much for watching this video stay, stay subscribed and stay tuned to biotechnica because there's so much more coming your way have a great day Bye bye